In those early days, uh, it was shocking. The, the terror attacks that occurred September 11th and then the subsequent anthrax attacks, America hadn't seen anything like that before in the homeland. So it was driving a really large reaction at the time. And as we were identifying gaps in our capability, like uh, where s and investments were early in that chemical biological detection space, over time, uh, a greater proportion of our investments have come to reflect kind of the everyday law enforcement and screening mission uh, to ref better reflect kind of the component missions. When our investigative components, IE, HSI, Secret Service, uh, have a need to look at evidence seized in a lawful uh, court proceeding or case, um, they uh, will sometimes come to us with uh, an ask for new capabilities to look at data out of new devices or in new ways. New technology is enabling new crime types, and that's something that we're contending with all the time. So I think in the future, we're gonna be taking advantage of AI to help us get to conclusions within casework and get to that critical evidence that we need to rescue victims faster. We can use AI to enable our tools to look for um, clues within data that helps our investigators. We can see the fruits of an idea go from just that, an idea, to a solution in the real world that results in a real kid getting rescued or the worst of the worst perpetrators getting arrested. And that is a rare position to be in. Um, and uh, I'm lucky to be in that slot.